Hey everyone, it's Ainsley from Berry Designs Shop. This video is a tutorial on how to download your files on template and which format you want to download them depending on how you're going to, you know, how you're wanting to distribute them. So once your invitation is looking all nice and you're happy with it, uh, you go up here to the download button. So you click that and you'll get three options. Now we're only going to focus on the PDF and JPEG because they're the ones that usually people use the most. So if you are printing an invitation or card inserts or game templates and you're printing them on a home computer, we recommend going for a PDF. So you click PDF, uh, the bleed is showing the margins. So that way when you print it, none of the image or the text is cut off. Uh, you'll definitely want the trim marks on. So because our invitation is white, if we printed that on white paper, we actually have, we wouldn't know where to cut. So trim marks are guidelines on where to cut. Um, now we would like to save paper and because I'm in Australia, we use A4. So I'll click A4. And so what this will do, the save paper option, is it'll fit as many templates on the page as it can. So if I go create PDF now, it says it's creating up here. Excellent, so click download now. And that's generated very nicely for us. So two invitations per page. I can print that off at home. Uh, I've got the trim mark so I can cut it and make sure it's all accurate. Uh, and yeah, that, that's ready to go. So if you're sending the invitation out digitally or you're sending it to some kind of printing shop, we recommend going for the JPEG. So this will download in a high quality individual file, uh, which makes it much easier to print. Um, so you can add the bleed if you want, you don't have to. The DPI is basically how many pixels you want. So obviously the 300 is a higher quality than the 96, uh, but the 96 is ideal if you're wanting to distribute your invitation digitally. So if you're wanting to send it on Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or send it out through Instagram or anything like that, um, you can try the 300 DPI, but if it doesn't work, the 96 DPI definitely will. So we'll go create JPEG and download now. Excellent, that's just come off. So that is the JPEG image that we have. And so I can save that to my computer and then I can send that off. So it's nice and easy. Just a reminder, if you get anything wrong, you can always go back and edit your templates. They do not expire. You can edit it as many times as you want. You can download it as many times as you want. So that's how you download and print your templates. Obviously for larger scale things like seating charts and posters, signs, they'll probably have to get done professionally unless you have a printer that can deal with that kind of size. And obviously they will be sent by JPEG. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a message. Otherwise, hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.